Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast in today's podcast we'll be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on along with the key levels for both the indices uh, we'll also be discussing on key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading sessions uh, in trade yesterday Nifty began the day uh, with an upward gap but ended the day without surpassing the previous day's high However the futures chart uh, displays a distinct picture uh, with the uh, close visibly higher than the previous day's high. Bank Nifty on the other hand formed a hammer in the previous trading session uh, the confirmation of what, uh, which was seen in yesterday's session. Uh, looking at the broader markets Nifty 500 hit a fresh life high yesterday and all in all it was a positive day for the Indian equity markets. Uh, coming to the macro factors uh, the us dollar index has recovered uh, sharply from 100.3 to 102.5 in the past few sessions and the us 10 year yields also have experienced a recovery of almost 5% in the same time period from 3.79 uh, to 3.95 uh, key levels to watch out would be 102.8 and 4.2 for the dollar index and the us 10 year bond yields respectively above which one needs to get slightly cautious from the equity market perspective on the flip side if you see brent crude is trading in the range between 76 and 80 dollars per barrel and key levels to watch out would be 83 dollars as any move above this could lead to short covering up to 87 89 dollars per barrel uh, coming to the global market setup uh, the major trend of the s&p 500 has still not been violated Uh, the index faced some bit of profit booking in the first few trading sessions of the new year uh, due to the rebound in the dollar index and the bond deal uh, looking at uh, looking ahead it is expected that the index would continue its positive momentum and above the levels of 4740 uh, the index can move towards levels of uh, 4840 4890 on the upside while on the downside the support is expected at the levels of uh, 4640 and it would act as the important support zone Uh, coming to nifty uh, going forward 21570 21600 zone would act as an important support while on the upside resistance is placed at 21690 21730 levels uh, below the levels of 21570 the index could test the levels of 21480 21450 on the downside while on the upside it is crucial for the index to surpass the levels of 21730 and if the index manages to sustain Uh, we could see the index uh, once again inch up higher towards the levels of 21850 21930 on the upside uh, looking at the oi data that is for the next week's expiry significant call writing is witnessed if you see in the 21700 and 21800 strikes while on the put front it is mainly seen in 21600 and 21500 strikes The overall range for the index could be 21550 on the downside and 21780 on the upside. Uh coming to Bank Nifty uh, 47950 48000 is likely to act as a support while on the upside the immediate resistance is seen at 48300 48350 levels. Above the levels of 48350 bank index can witness an incremental momentum up to the levels of 48800 on the upside. For next week's weekly expiry significant open interest is witnessed in the 48300 calls and on the put side it is seen in the 48000 strike implying a near term range of 47950 on the downside and 48600 on the upside for the banking index uh, coming to stocks and sectors in momentum nifty reality was the best performing sector uh, for the second consecutive day uh, with gains of 6.76% uh, Uh, DLF Prestige Shoba and Godrej Properties uh, all witnessed positive traction in trade yesterday. Uh, among the FMCG counters Britannia Tata Consumer Godrej CP ITC witnessed positive traction in trade yesterday. Uh, banking names uh, saw positive traction as well the likes of Bank of Baroda uh, Bank India Kendra Bank from the PSU banking space witnessed positive momentum. while from the private uh, sector it was mainly indusin bank equitas hdfc bank bandhan bank and axis which witnessed positive traction uh, from the broader market bullish setup was observed in the likes of bajaj finance ntpc ongc power grid acc uh, ambuja cement aurofarma bel bharat forge bharti airtel chola fin 
जेएमआर इन्फ्रा गुजरात गैस एच डी एफ सी बैंक टाटा केमिकल वोल्टास के ई आई महिंद्रा लाइफ मैक्सल पूनावाला एंड जोमैटो ऑल दीज काउंटर्स विटनेस पॉजिटिव ट्रैक्शन इन ट्रेड ये एंड आर रिलेटिवली आउट परफॉर्मिंग दी मार्केट्स Coming to the FIDI data, in the cash segment, FIDI has bought to the tune of 1,513 crores, while DI has sold to the tune of 1,387 crores. FIDI long short ratio for index futures marginally improved to 66.01 as they bought about 1,469 index future long positions. On the stock futures front, FIDI has sold to the tune of 8,896 contracts, while on the options front, FIDI has sold about 20,407 call contracts. and 124680 put option contracts so friends that's all for today thank you for regularly listening to our podcast and wishing you all an energetic day ahead uh, do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing